most of us are pretty self-taught. I don't know if anyone had actual training. Yeah, I had like a year of like classical training. Like he was teaching me classical stuff and I was like, I want to play more metal stuff, man. And from that point on, I started like reading tabs and teaching myself. When I was growing up, I took a few drum lessons and just went on YouTube and learned a lot from there. I, I mean, I still don't know how to play bass, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're still learning every day, I think. Yeah, yeah. we are. We're eight years in now to being a band. Now that we've built something that means a lot more than we could have ever expected is really special. And the fact that it's still growing, we still see the same people that support us coming out to our shows when we tour. I think that keeps us going and motivates us more and more every time. When you're dead and gone. So the song Dead and Gone, we wrote with our friend Mark Hoppus from Blink-182. It was the first time we had ever worked with him in the studio and it was a little bit nerve wracking at first, but he was such a good guy to work with. Ten years from now, we'll be tired. The idea of Dead and Gone, I guess, is about kind of breaking free from something that's toxic in your life and kind of be yourself a little bit more. I think my favorite part about making music is just the human connection. I think it's really special that we can create something based off of an experience that we've had and it can connect with somebody in a completely different way. The fans come up and say, let me tell you exactly what this song means to me. We've built this community and just seen the growth happen and it's something that we owe everything to, really. When I think about Coors Light, I really just think about how it's a connection between us and our peers and other people, whether it's, you know, the music or just trying to take a load off and relax and whatnot. So we invite a band or a friend over and we just crack the cooler open and we've got a Coors Light in there and we just always, we always we, do we, we, <laughs> Where do we see ourselves in 10 years? Whether I'm in a band or whether I'm sitting at home or if I've got a kid or something like that, I'll still be drinking Coors Lights for a in 10 years. <laughs> that is true. That is, that is, that is very true. <laughs> State Champs, I think a lot of people look to us as just a fun band, like something easy to put on and listen to and just enjoy the moment. That's what's so fun to me because I think when we play live, it's just a good time. If we made it this far, how much further can we go? I think we just want to make a positive impact in this world. I mean, there's a lot of negative, toxic energy out there and anything we can do to be a breath of fresh air in that mess is more than fine with me.